I'm on the road tonight. Uh, so I wake up in my hotel room. Uh, I'm somewhere in like, industrial Beijing. There's lots of pollution outside. Uh, but there's no way I really know that because instead of instead of seeing the world outside, I'm seeing the world outside through some sort of Philip K. Dick uh, uh, screens that are on the walls, big OLEDs, immersive media. And I can project any kind of exterior scene that I want to rather than just the, than the scene itself. In fact, the hotel doesn't particularly have one. Because, you know, um, we live right now in a time where there's these sort of Potemkin villages that are, that are projected around us, whether it's in these types of screens that are built in the spaces that we're in, or whether it's in the ways in which um, images and information are presented to me on these glasses that I'm starting to put on as I, as I get up and, and, and start walking around. Um, so, I've got glasses. Um, they project a video image with overlays of, uh, of information and you know, scenes about the world around me. It changes really what how I perceive the world because instead of seeing you know, just the actual, uh, the actual places and people and things, I see all the information you know, in, the, in the clouds that are out there available and who is that? You know, what is this place? All the social media and just, you know, um, clutters of social media tags out there. Of course, luckily I have contextual filters, you know, that help me to filter out all the things I don't want to see and help me to concentrate on the kinds of information I can. Of course, uh, one of the interesting um, byproducts of this is with all this contextual filtering, kind of like uh, Washers of Fox News versus Washers of MSNBC today, um, the kinds of perceptions I have about the reality around me are really more mediated by my own personal biases. So I might get the Fox News, or I might get the MSNBC or whatever, whatever um, suits my own personal ideology or hobbies or, or what have you. So anyway, the, these uh, glasses really increasingly become part of my um, part of my thought process as well, because it's there's a camera in it that screens to other people um, what I'm experiencing, so they can experience it with me too, um, and also I can get feeds from other people, so I can see the world through their eyes, for example. Um, I can also, um, like I said, screen out or screen away things that I, that I don't really want to be exposed to, or things that I think are are cluttering my attention. Uh, right now, we worry about um, multitasking and about you know uh, split attention. Um, but if you think about the generation today, who are going to be adults in 2019, uh, they're really used to experiencing the world through the through the screen on the internet right now, having you know their <coughs> their Facebook and their MySpace and their voice client chat, you know, and their video game, and all of these things open all at the same time, and splitting their attention successfully between all these different types of media, and I think that would be really the way, the way the world works. Mm -hmm.